What's up, YouTube? It's you guys, the Hot Chat Hot Wires, back at it again with a banger. Okay, we hope you enjoy our video on gear ratios. This is how to make the models for the gear ratio demo. All three of these models are very similar to each other. To make the one with the gear ratio of one, you'll need two 24 teeth gears that you will connect four spaces apart. To make a gear ratio of five, you'll need a 40 teeth gear and an eight teeth gear, also connected four spaces apart. So you can um, easily replicate this one with a slight variation. To make the gear ratio of one fifth, you will need, also need a 40 teeth gear and an 8 teeth gear, except this time the positions will be switched from the previous one. Like the others, they will all be 4 spaces apart. I'm starting the program. This, this is the program that we just ran. <clears throat> At the same time, constant power is being applied to the motors which is shown in the first block of the three sequences. In the second block, um, there's a small weight to ensure that the arm has started to move. In the third block, make sure that the speed of the, um, rope of the, speed of the motor is less than or equal to five before um, it completes the last block, which is to stop the power. This gear has eight teeth and this gear has 40 teeth. So for every five rotations of this gear, this gear will, rot will rotate once. That, e that is equivalent to a gear ratio of five to one. So like because the drive gear, once it does one full rotation, since the other gear is the same thing, the gear ratio is one to one. And that means that it's gonna like move at like the same speed so basically the big gear like every like one rotation this makes and make this makes like maybe five, five rotations now i'm attaching this weight to the slowest arm let's see what happens Now I'm going to attach this weight to the arm with the gear ratio of one in, of one to one. Let's see what happens. So now I'm attaching the weight to the fastest arm. Let's see what happens. Now I'm going to attach a heavier weight to the slowest arm. Let's see what happens. The arm was able to lift the heavier weight. Now I'm going to attach the weight to the arm that has the one to one ratio. Let's see what happens. So the motor was not able to lift the weight. Since the torque and the speed are inversely proportional, the one that goes the slowest will be able to lift the most and vice versa. I will be explaining the relationship between gear ratios and torque. The gear ratio is the ratio of the angular velocity of the drive axle or gear to the angular velocity of the load gear or axle. Um, and angular velocity is written as the Greek symbol omega. Gear ratio is used to control the speed and the torque of the load axle. Torque is the twisting force and is related to the capacity of the load axle to move objects. In the demo, you saw that some uh, one of the arms was able to lift heavy objects because it had more torque, while one of the arms was not able to lift anything at all because it didn't have as much torque. In linear motion, work equals force times distance. 
In angular motion, work equals torque times angle. Torque is written as the Greek letter tau, and angle is written as the Greek letter theta. In angular motion, torque is the equivalent of force, and the angle covered is the equivalent of the distance covered. Energy, as you may recall, is the capacity to do work, so it has the same and it has the same units as work. Um, the law of conservation of energy states that energy cannot be created or destroyed, which is why the energy supplied at the drive axle is the equivalent to the work done at the load axle. Although some energy will be lost due to friction, um, we're going to ignore that for now and assume that the product of the torque and the angle on the load side is equal to the torque and the angle of the drive side. If we were to um, divide both sides by the angle covered by the load axle, then the torque of the load axle will be equal to the torque of the drive axle times the angle covered by the drive axle divided by the angle covered by the load axle. Since angular velocity is the angle covered per unit time, we can assume that in a given amount of time, um, the ratio of the angles will be equal to the ratios of the angular velocities. Since the angular velocity of the drive axle over the angular velocity of the load axle is equal to the gear ratio, then the torque of the, on the load side is equal to the torque of the drive side times the gear ratio. This equation shows that you can use the gear ratio um, to control the amount of torque on the load axle. If you need um, your load axle to lift heavy objects and you don't need it to be super fast, then you should use a gear ratio that is greater than one. It'll be slow like this one, but it will be capable of lifting heavy objects because the torque of the load axle is very high. However, if you do not need um, your the load axle to be capable of lifting very heavy heavy objects but you have a need for speed then you can use um, a gear ratio that is lower than one um, which will go fast but cannot lift heavy things in this the um, load axle moves very fast but it cannot uh, it cannot lift heavy objects is the ratio of the speed of the drive gear to the speed of the load gear. In simple cases, people compare the number of teeth of the gears to calculate gear ratio, but this leads to incorrect results in more complex cases. If we were to look at these two gears, the small gear and the medium gear, first calculate the gear ratio with counting the teeth. So we would get an answer of one third and because the small gear has eight teeth and the medium gear has 24 teeth and eight over 24 equals to one third. And if we were to calculate it using the speed of the gear, the big gear travels at one fifth the speed of the small gear. The two medium gears travel at the same speed as uh, the big gear, and therefore the the two medium gears travel one fifth the speed of the small gear. Therefore, you get a gear ratio of one fifth, which is correct. That's why gear ratio is calculated uh, to the ratio of the, sp the, of the speed of the drive gear to the speed of the load gear instead of counting teeth. Thank you! Thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed it. Please slam a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell as hard as you can.